Mm-hmm. Okay. First time I played this chapter with this character, I didn't understand how her playstyle worked, and it kind of made it difficult, but not impossible to do. And then I kind of looked at what she does and tried different things, and it worked pretty well. Oh, nice cloud formation Where here. Is my sworn enemy? Where is the dragon ninja? The goddess of liberty has deserted this city. It belongs to me now! <laughs> Such a Japanese interpretation of New York. Cause the Statue of Liberty is gone now, the evil can come forth. Yeah! Kind of reminds me of Eva's flying kicks when she says that noise. I don't even need to this say is it, do I? Nowhere. Ryu never would have left a fiend behind. It's like they're swarming up out of the depths. Okay, so this boss also feels like what was that? A throwback. Something's but I there. haven't played the first game. That's just a guess. It feels like he has <gasps> bad blood. She she has a gun and gratuitous jiggle physics. Let's have a poll. Can you guess the gender of the person who designed this character? Ah, oh, cool move. Yeah, she's got cool moves. Uh, originally, she was my least favorite side character of this game. She still kind of is, but like, she's not like, gameplay-wise, she's actually like, Pretty decent and well-rounded. Oh, it's a bit of a jump there. Noticing a series of hangs in this game. Burp. Uh, yeah. The boss feels like he's got some previous beef with Ryu and is like my adversary and a lot of the previous bosses for these side missions feel like, you know, they're from another game and they're like, oh hey, it's like, uh, we're looking for our old enemy, the Dragon Ninja, but he's too busy for us right now, so we're just gonna kind of stand around and be problems, I guess, for side characters. So, yeah. Someone on Team Ninja really likes those blondes with the big boobies, I guess. This feels like if there's any chapter that you can point to and say, you're enjoying the game normally and the game when your parents don't walk in on you to see what you're doing is relatively normal. This is the chapter. This is the chapter where your parents would walk in and go, Ah, yo, winning, son! And they just see you playing as a big booby bondage lady uh, who's swinging a giant hammer around while her boob physics just spaz out <laughs> into all... Oh, the debris freaks out and a giant pin monster comes to beat her up and you're just like... This, this, look at this screen right now. This is a video game ass video game. This is the kind of game that they're playing in the background of TV shows. Whether, like, it's like a teenage kid playing it and, like, the, the boomer dad's like, Now, son, you shouldn't be playing all those games. And he's like the Mike TV stereotype, of like, Yeah, fucking die! <laughs> I don't know why I thought of Mike TV for some reason. Yes, Mike TV plays this game in the Willy Wonka movie. He does play like Quake or some shit, I'm pretty sure. It's like an FPS of some kind. Yeah! See, she has some cool shit. Uh, it's pretty cool that she has a fucking gun as a projectile weapon. Um, 
and it's not like an old-fashioned cannon or some shit, it's literally like... Everyone else has bow and arrow or like a shuriken or something, which makes sense, because ninja food. But, you know, nice change. Really don't like the visual design of the main weapon, because it looks like something out of like... a He-Man action figure set. <laughs> Especially with the big red circle on the bottom, it just screams like this makes a sound effect when you smash it onto a flat surface. You know? Or it's got a squeaky bit on the end, looks like it's we eat <laughs> every time. See the red bit on the end? Looks like a squeegee, one of those squeaky hammers. We eat, we eat. Maybe it's just me. Shoot the dragon. Touch the dragon. That guy's just stood behind barricades, clinking away, doing his little zoning game, and it's like kind of weird and annoying. And he's not even good at his job. I'm not even moving around that much, he hasn't hit me yet. <laughs> oh, finally. You managed to get a hit in. Are uh, you happy? Loser. <laughs> Ancient magic isn't strong enough for my gun. Oh, where am I going? Where are we going? Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna do this because it's an elevator. There you go. Ah, so it's like the side that does a big deal. That makes sense. Yeah, you can tell why I didn't really like the gameplay to start with, because it's like, here, yeah, my big slow hammer. Now, I'm not a big fan of in character action games, the big slow anything, like Endless Fang or The Scythe, it's just not my thing normally. So, a character whose entire thing is I have a big dumb weapon. Luigi's is fast enough that it doesn't annoy me as much, but now that I know how to use this character, it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't that big of a deal. It's just not my favorite. But I can spin. I can sing. Oh. I kind of rolled over him there. I don't know what happened. It's fine. There are so many outfits for this character in the Sigma edition, and let me tell you, they are just variations on disturbing BDSM demon theme. And then slutty secretary outfit you know, like, for fuck's sake. But apparently I hit something, so there are guys, like, over there where the wall was. token. Ah, oh, thanks for the drill for Yeah, like, it's like this for me sometimes, where it's like, I whiff a bunch with the heavy the weapons, and then I just take loads of hits, because I'm an idiot, so... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it gets a bit frustrating, because it's like, fucking connect, <laughs> after a while, you know? <laughs> just like, ah, why am I so bad at the game? So, like, heavy weapons, it's not their fault, it's just that I'm inaccurate, and... Am I not supposed to get off here? Why is there a save totem? Uh, lift go up. No, nope, definitely invisible wall. Maybe I didn't go deep enough into the lift. The elevator. Uh, guys. <laughs> 
kind of there you go <laughs> kind of holding in this big one here <laughs> wait that's not too weird they were just spin Some levels I do this and no enemies take on an elevator and I'm like, oh take that. Faceless being, now you have no face. You had the grappling hook the whole time. Why were you even using this? Hey, it's like that Tekken animated series where Nina does this to Kazuya. You know the one. Seriously, this looks like the most uncomfortable outfit to be running around and doing acrobatics in that I've ever seen in my life. Like the chafing. The chafing. It looks like, oh my god, like... Even in the bedroom, this looks like something that would chafe like a fucking bitch. <laughs> Not that I've ever wear, worn a all leather BDSM inspired bikini. So <laughs> it just looks like they've managed to make the leather rendered enough to make you think, "Oh, you don't want that leather directly on your skin." Holy shit! From someone who's worn a lot of leather jackets. You really want to at least be wearing a t-shirt underneath. Unless it's got a fabric inlay and still you're in just... Don't, you know, they're not the jackets, man. <laughs> I remember one... Oh, freezing. Freezing. Freezer. Ah, fuck. Prepare for me to get trolled. <laughs> This is like the Polnar FDO scene, except it's just some jobber randomly shooting me and me going, uh How do Whoa <laughs> Cause I'm stupid. I mean to be fair, he's backdashing to make space to do it again. Like, what an asshole. Speaking of wearing leather. I remember like reading Slash's autobiography and getting really into Judas Priest and stuff and then thinking to myself, yeah, I could wear leather trousers. Why not? I got a leather jacket. I could, I could wear leather trousers. I reckon I could pull it off, you know, a nice t-shirt, leather trousers. I wear black denim already. And when I was like 14 to 16, I was really trying to convince my parents Are you searching for the dragon to buy me some leather trousers, and they were like, fuck off, no, Maybe I am. <laughs> you will not wear them, they're ridiculous. Somehow, I'm like, they're cool, and they're like, no, they're not. Different reasons <laughs> for seeking him out. It doesn't matter, you'll never find him. Again, the very now Japanese the trip of, I can so smell your blood from any distance and I know your heritage. <laughs> a fragile little doll. Whoa. Trying to take on a greater fiend. It's starting to feel a bit supremacist, to be well. honest. We need Show to cancel this bastard. Show me what you can do by fighting jobbers, because I'm actually quite lame as a boss fight <laughs> on my own. I just kind of float around and do one flying attack a few times. He's basically a piggy also. <laughs> The second time around, he's even less of a threat, and he wasn't much of a threat the first time. First time, first time off screen, because he's just kind of like, I will swoop in. That's all I will do, and then if you can dodge that, I will do a giant dive that leaves me vulnerable if it misses. Like so. And that's my entire move set. He has less move set than some of the sub bosses. It's just kind of annoying. Though. Look how like he just takes hits, man. To 
taking so much damage from like four hits. But he's pretty immune to gun. Flying type. Apparently we're just shouting out brands of uh <laughs> I accidentally triggered that. Shouting out brands of video cards at them. To be honest, she does look like the character that you would find on the back of the. Nvidia! RTX! <laughs> She does look like the character that's on the box of the GPU, to be fair, like from a very specific time scale, like 1990s to 2000. Oh my fucking horn! <laughs> it's like, man, it's like that. It's just like the Tenacious D thing. <laughs> from whence you came, you, you shall remain until you are complete again. She's like, I don't get that reference. Night has lifted. Dawn has come. Ah, uh, New York can go back to its standard level of crime. Nothing to see here. <laughs> so that was weird. But yeah, those side missions are real short, but it's, I'm glad they in introduced them. Master Ninja <laughs> every time. 